Hi, my name's Karen. I'm here to make this card using Craft Kit 6. So what I've done is I've made, out of an A4 sheet of card, um, just a normal Z fold card blank. So I've scored halfway, and then I've sco scored one on the gate fold, trimmed off a section to give me a square, square card blank. So it's just under 15 centimetres. And I've also trimmed off a little portion that's going to be sort of one and a half inches. And that's going to give me my Z fold feature at the front. So to start off, I'm just going to pop some layers on. And to do this, I'm just going to stick this one in position first here on the bottom and I can layer over the top of it. the Z fold portion into position that will go lined up with the edge of your card there and it'll fold nicely and I'm just going to pop some layers on top of that as well To make the actual butterfly itself, I've cut one plain white and one from the. I'm trying to see all my speciality. Iced petals. I think this one's called iced petals. So I'm going to glue those together. So we've got a bit more of a stable backing because this paper. Although it's beautiful, it's a bit flimsy just to stick directly on because it's going to be overlapping the front of the card. So the next one, next layer up, is going to be my little fluttering butterfly wings here, which I've completely covered in glitters which also come in your pack so these are fabulous absolutely so to start off i'm going to take all the lids off and hope i don't tip them <laughs> To make this surface uh, completely sticky, I've used some of the Craft Perfect A4 adhesive sheets. I've cut myself a square and I have stuck it onto a piece of white card. So we've got one sticky side, which has still got the, the release paper on it. So I need to cut out the outer edge of my butterfly. I think. Now, I've already cut one from the outer edge plus the, the pattern die. So I've put the pattern into this plain white card. I'm going to get the pattern die again and I'm going to keep that inside and I'm going to line them up 
and tape them down. You can see you've got the indentations. I don't know if you can actually make it out. Yeah, you can just make out you've got the cut lines. So now we're going to fill these in with glitter. So we do each colour individually, going from the darkest to the lightest. I'm just going to get a piece of paper, fold that over so we can put it all back later. And we'll pick each section out. So you can put any colours, whatever you want to do. Just do them section at a time. Purple. 